All right, so as some of you may know, Count Rose has its own limitations. So we're gonna take it up a notch and we're actually gonna maneuver over to Count AX. So AX standing for aggregation expression. So basically what it will allow you to do is have three major benefits. So first you can count based upon a condition. You can ignore rows that don't meet your condition. And then you're also identifying that logic based upon each row independently per value rather than just looking at every single row and counting it as a whole, which is what count rows did for you. But let's just stop talking about it and I'll dive right in and I'll show you exactly what we can do with it. All right, so I have a sample data set here. So I have a unique column for name, employee IDs. Then we have training data that these people accomplished. So what we wanna do with the first count AX expression is we're gonna total how many people have a completion date within this table. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that same exact value and identify, okay, if they have a completion date, do they have 70 or greater? All right, so we're just gonna call this completed. And then we're gonna say count AX. Then we're gonna pick our table. And then we're gonna pick our expression, so completed training. And then we're just gonna close that up. Then we'll bring a card over. And here we have our value of 76. And we could also go into table view and validate that data as well. But 76 is accurate for this one. So I'm just gonna toss that over here for now. And then the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna apply that second condition as well. So I'll just copy and paste this here. We're gonna go ahead and make a new measure. And we're just gonna call this measure 70. We're gonna say count AX. We're gonna specify our table. But now we're gonna say if, so we're gonna bring this in because we're gonna bring in a condition. We're gonna go to the next line and we're gonna say completion date. So we want to make sure the completion date is not blank, right? And then to include another type of condition, we're going to put a double ampersand. And then we're going to put score. We're going to put is greater than or equal to 70. Put a comma there. We're going to put a one. One meaning give me a sum of one if you meet that condition. So as each row passes by, it's looking at this criteria here. These two conditions is going to give me a total of one. It's going to continue that tally as it maneuvers down the table. We're gonna close that, and then we're gonna close the count AX as well. So we have the if nested up against the count AX as a whole. So the if is gonna nest our two conditions here, and the count AX is gonna exclude all the blanks that we have. And just like that, we have our total of 53. All right, so just like that, that's our quick demo of count AX. Let me know what your thoughts are. Hit that like button down below, subscribe. And with that said, thanks for watching, y'all.